Hello! Welcome to my bathroom. It's not weird at all. Uh, Shopkeep Colin here. Uh, this will be the first installment of an ongoing series that we're going to call If I Can, You Can, because seriously. Topic number one, wet shaving. Normally I just use your run-of-the-mill, over-the-counter, disposable, semi-broken glass, gobbledygook. Um, but I work in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, so since I don't have to do that anymore, we're going to be upgrading. However, I don't know what to do. Thankfully, I also have access to a handy Sherpa to guide me through that. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? You know, you could just say my name. I could. I could do that. Yeah. So, we're going to get into wet shaving. Yeah. Is that the proper terminology? Yes, it is. Okay. And we're in a bathroom, so it'll work. This is typically where you're, you will do a lot of shaving at home. Right. Unless you come into the barber shop, and that's the treat yourself version. It's true. It's really nice. Today, we'll be upgrading to a full on safety razor, which was my birthday gift, which is thanks, guys. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Shiny. How do you make, make this thing work? Well, first things first, you want to load the razor. Typical safety razors like this, they want the post and the top. The bottom of the post will screw open. You'll see the top of it lifting up. That, that is happening. Okay. All right. Some of them have a, a simple insert like this. Some of them will have more of a clamshell that will open up on a hinge. Okay. Just depends on the model. And you're going to line up the center. You can see there's kind of has all these wavy lines in the middle. Yeah, very geometric. You're going to line them up with the holes. It's like crop circles. On the razor. All right. Yeah. Now you'll insert the post to the center. Just just drop it right it in. Feels just slide right. it in. Feels wrong, but there you it's go. All right. Now you will tighten. Get it nice and tight. Not too tight. What are we talking about? So you'll see a little bit of a bend. Okay. Um, slightly um, bowed. Slightly bowed. Not broken. And you'll have a nice clean edge on both sides. And you're Great. ready to go. Next thing. Yes. Now we gotta get your face ready. It's how much time do we have? For wet shaving, you definitely want to start off with a nice pre-shave oil. It's gonna help provide a nice layer of glide in between the razor and your face. Okay. As well as smelling nice and keeping the, the lather from dehydrating while you shave. Yeah. So we have Brooklyn Grooming. Uh, they're Williamsburg. Does this mean I have to get a fixie and wear tight jeans? All right, now you're gonna wanna grab your shave bowl with the shave soap okay. and the brush as well. In the bowl, we've got the Hudson Made Original White. Racist. Delightful. Delectable, yes. Let's smell through the box. And we've also got our Captain Fawcett shave brush. Best badger. Never sees his shadow. Now you want to turn the tap on to the hottest water that you can manage out of it. Now you'll grab your shave oil. Okay. Uh, you'll probably empty about half of that into your hand. Keep going. All right. I feel like going. It's going to make me feel like requiem from it. All right. Does that around. Apply it directly to the face. Okay. I mean, not the whole face, just the area that you're shaving. Yeah. So don't slather myself down like a Christmas turkey. Now you got your oil on. You're going to pick up your brush. Just the brush. There we go. Uncoordinated. Put it in the water. Okay. In the running water. You're going to let that saturate. You want to get the brush as wet as you can. Give it a little shake out, too. You don't want the, the water kind of pouring out, you want it that's contained. Right. You want to keep you want to keep some water in there that's gonna help build the lather right. in the dish. Alright. So take a dish in a circular motion, kind of whisk it around. There you go. You're making an omelet. Pretty much. French toast. Vigorous. Oh I see. Yeah. It just takes a minute. You gotta work it. There we go. Yeah. Brothy. Very good. Mm. Alright now you're gonna Use the brush to scoop up some of that lather. There you go. And you just apply it directly to your face. I feel like hugging. Again. Yeah. 
in a, in a circular motion. Okay. For the Tom Sawyer hook thin that had to hit the fence. I put the leather on your face. Okay. Re oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Okay, so... Do I want to start from a particular way? Whichever side works best for you, you just kind of start at one, you can work I from... Just, I just hear Mr. More of a More of a circular. Circular? Motion. Okay. I was going Mr. Miyagi tutelage. Time is a bit more of the essence. Oh, so you don't want, you it, don't want it to dry to, out. It starts, yeah, I was going to say, it starts yeah. to dry out. You'll get another, get another good scoop out of there. No, use it like a shovel. Okay. Or a spatula or something. No. You presume I know how to cook as well. Little, little circles. Mm -hmm. Tiny yeah. bubbles. There you go. Okay, are we good? Yeah. Are we good? You just set the brush down. Call the Belgian dip. You'll grab your razor. Probably need a little bit of water to fur rinses. Okay. And it's very important that you start with uh, slow strokes. They're not like the razors that you're used to. You can't just. It's the only swipe, ones that. The only ones I know, man. All right. Wait, where where on my where on my face? You start at which either you know top of the side or bottom of the side burn side okay. that you feel most comfortable with. You make sure that your angle of the the blade. Right. You want this. This is gonna be your guide. All right, right here. This edge. That edge. And, and the far edge. No, the whole the whole edge. Okay. Yeah. You don't use the corner. Yeah. No. No. This yeah. whole thing flat against your face. Okay. And then you go slowly down. And it's just yeah. This is the male equivalent like of training wheels. Between every second and third stroke, you might want to give it a rinse because you don't want the excess hair and stuff clogging it. Stretching the skin helps a lot too. If you use your free hand to kind of anchor the skin behind the stroke, okay. you have one hand, one hand here to hold it. Got it. I don't want to. That's kind of a lot. Of it keeps the tension on the skin. Or else and he shaving. gets the hose again. <laughs> Come on. And instead of shaving from back to front, try okay. shaving top down. Plant, plant, I'll take your whole hand. Okay. Not your whole hand. It's going to feel like that. Oh, full, so full, full hand. Full hutchet. To keep the skin taut. Everything's a process. I almost not burned in a day. Usually by the time you get done with the first half of your face, the other half might have dried out. So you can... Choose to either lather only with one half of your face and shave that, okay. and then lather the other side and then shave that in in order. So much Tommy Lee Jones process in Batman Forever. Yes. Okay. Two faces. You've definitely dried out on the one side already, so you're gonna go ahead and tell me about re it. I hate you so much. I know. I think it's not so much that people hate mimes as I'm starting to understand why they hate themselves. Yep. So wait. Alright. And you can you can start from, from, from the thumb and the neck. I already you can felt, actually I already start. felt that one. It will burn? No, I, I got a little like like pay us the ransom money now I'm on. Now when you're shaving with these, what's more important than pressure is using the weight of the razor. But it's also very important that when you're shaving with this, that it's over flat skin. So if you're shaving on awkward angles, especially at the jawline, exactly and you're right trying now. to shave along the jawline, there's going to be divots on either side, especially underneath. Lush. So, nah, nah, nah. So far, so good. We haven't gotten to the really tricky parts yet. I don't like too much fun with it. <laughs> it is fun. It is. So now, so now this... The chaplain yeah. goat area. You ready? Trademark? No. You need to start right underneath the nose. Yeah, I fully lift nice and tight and just work from as far up as you can go down to the lip and work your way from the center out. Pulling the skin as tight as you can. If you if you can anchor a finger on the center of your lip. Up, up, up high, up, yeah, like that. Oh, now you're doing a great dictator. Okay. Oh, got real, real quick. Yee. Oh. Nice to razor. It will cut you. There's a time it's like, I realize when I get into it, like just based on the angling or me navigating the angle, it's, like, it's just like, oh, I'm shaving. Versus like, 
Yeah, blade, <laughs> face. Definitely requires a lot more attention. It goes from, like, play school to kill Bill real quick. Get into the, the chin region, yeah. or under, under the lower lip. I'm going to start, I imagine my finger is the edge of the blade. And you're going to start on this angle. Okay. And work your way toward the bottom center of your chin. Wait, so... Yeah. So that? Yep. And, and go... Down at you. And really? Then, and then the other side. Okay. Down. Do I want to arch my neck at all? No, because you want you want the tension on your cheek. Okay. So you're not as good? That, I would place place the tension on your cheek. Okay. Cheek, right now, up here on the cheekbone. And then you're going to come down. And make sure you have the right angle from on the blade. You know, uh, get your wrist up more. There you go. There it is. Wherever you're pulling the razor from, you want to plant this finger. From this okay, finger, you that's, want to that, that's one stroke. That's and my bearing. Okay. Yeah. And then replant like where you need accordingly yeah, for every stroke. Okay. You want to, you want to keep that skin taut and flat. Otherwise, the blade's just gonna pull it and tear it up. So do I need to go left thorium with it? So you I can if you feel comfortable enough. <laughs> but I don't think we're there yet. No. Oh. God, a very insightful philosophical musing before he cut his own throat. I mean, that is going to be your own. That really would the, be the most appropriate way for me to go. Now you're going to take your free hand and plant it and on the out your uh, middle finger and thumb. Okay. On the bottom edges of your your jaw. Right? All right, right here. Right. Okay. And you're gonna stretch that nice and tight, and you can go across the chin, straight or across, or across the other way, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Maintaining the pressure of the blade as you come around, so you're not, you know, doing a little wrist flick. You're really pulling it yeah, around the chin. Readjust your anchor hand if you need to. If you feel it's slipping a little bit too much. I mean, you don't need to choke yourself while you're doing this. <laughs> oh, Greg. <laughs> Alright. Now, this is that's one of those things again with the divot. Okay, yeah. You see how your face divots in? Yeah, right. Comes out again. How do we do that? You're only going to use a part of, you know, half of the blade. <sighs> God, math so in my own pull, bathroom. Pull your anchor fingers right. up to here. Okay. Nice and taut. And again, up high. Come around. I look like Jared Leto the Joker right now. That's kind of your bulk area now. I need to get that little patch. Now you can start from the bottom of your lower lip. Okay. And work straight down. Always keeping the contact of the blade. Remember, it's all about that angle. Since your chin has that dip, uh -huh. you want to follow that dip with the blade. As there you go, kind of a yeah. A and it, it is curved, so it just glides along. Okay. I'll do it. Now we're going to phase two. Right. Liberate France. So now, now that I look like a freshly violated meringue. Yep. What now? You, you rinse your face off. Oh, okay. Hot, cold, to cold. toilet. It's right. right there, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Cold water. Cold water. Cold water for the, uh, the rinse off. All right. It's going to give you a chance to, A, and ah. most importantly, wash everything Woo. off your face. And oh, yeah. It'll close up the pores. Okay. You can wipe your face off a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. You can dry, dry it off. And you don't want to do a whole lot but more of a padding dry. Now what? Aftershave. Ah, this is the post shave care. Very important. And for that, again, Brooklyn grooming. Anchor. So good. No. Don't eat it. No. Nope. No. No. Just put a couple of pumps in your hand. Pump, pump, One, pump it up. Two. There you go. That's all you need. Just like with the oil, work it around on your hands, apply it to your face. Okay. In a gentle kind of patting motion, not as much the wiping. Is that is that all the things? 
Those are all the things. So we end up with a very freshly shorn, more albino, yet thoroughly less scruffy individual. I feel smooth. Do you feel I confident? Feel... I'm about to sneeze, so no. Okay. Ah! There you go. I'm just going to get you everything. Oh, fog's rolling in. Elephants. So. So you feel yeah. better. I feel better. I feel I feel nice and smooth. I feel refreshed. This is honestly the nicest my face has felt. I know, I know, I know I work inside the compound, but this is the closest shave I've had. I'm amazed that I gave this to myself. Maintenance, close out, just rinse out, rinse out your brush, rinse out your bowl. You don't want to leave any residual lather in the brush. Definitely not in the brush or in the bowl. It just keeps everything clean and fresh and ready to go for the next go round. And it, it also helps prolong the, the life of that shave soap. Mm -hmm. So how often do I want to change the blades on something like this? Uh, you would want to use a blade per shave. The blades do have two sides, two edges on them. So you can use one side for one shave, one side for the other. Okay. Now how much, how much does a pack of blades for something like this cost? They're, they vary in price. As cheap as four cents per blade. Uh, the most premium blades go up to about 25 cents per blade. For real? For real. You know, a pack of something like this full is going to cost me... Like 30, 20 bucks. Yes, yeah, 25 to 30 bucks at every right. time. And you go through one of these... In, in a couple of shaves. Right? Like a month. Well, for me. That's phenomenal. Just yeah. in terms of the cost effectiveness. Not just the result, but the cost effectiveness of it is, by yeah. and large... The original dollar shave. Yeah. Though. The, the initial investment is more, but it's going to save you tenfold in the long run. Yeah. And it's, you're going to get a much more quality shave. Yeah. Money. Money, money, money. Money. So what are you going to do with all this stuff now? Well, then I can use for something else. So there you have it, uh, freshly shaven. So hopefully that will take you through the technique and the methods used if you wanna up your shave game as well. We do offer all those things at Beard Scarred so you can pick them up and take them home to practice this on yourself. And hopefully, as I did, not die. So until the, the next incarnation and episode of If I Can, You Can, uh, this is Shopkeep. I wanna thank, again, Beardsmith for guiding me through that process. And until next time, we'll see you in the shop.